Hi, Jonathan. Good evening. How, How are, are you? Excuse me? How are you? Um, I have an excellent day too. It's yeah. starting to week, but it's difficult, but um, I um, arrived it's my house at the same for traffic jam. Um, but um, I not have dinner too. You already had dinner? No, no. No, not yet? No. Oh. Uh, uh, around 20 minutes, I arrived to my house. 20 and minutes ago, wow. Yeah. And I prepared the computer to, to the class. Um, only that, yeah. Well, um, let me tell you that I, I'm very proud of you that even though you just came 20 minutes ago to your house, um, you, you are in time for the, for, the, um, for the class. So that says a lot about you, good for you. Excellent. Okay, thanks, Tisha. And I also have some other people in the class. I have ooh, many of you, all right. Hi guys, how are you? Hi, teacher. How are you? Good, good. Okay, good to see everybody. Okay, so we're definitely much more today. All right. How was your weekend, everybody? Bored. Sorry? My weekend, my weekend was bored. You were bored. You were bored during this weekend, really? Why? What happened? Yeah. Um, at Sunday, I stayed all day in my house, and I watched my clothes and uh, helped my wife to. How do you say? the lugar. I don't remember the house that tour. word. The house, house? Sure. Yeah, house chores or housework. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, because uh, Sunday it's only day that we rest because we uh, work to Monday to Saturday. Yeah, and the afternoon. We play with my son. Uh -huh. Mark, uh, the park is next to the neighbor. And my boy, um, no, it's not dry. I think to the bicycle. No, it's not dry. Oh. Ride, ride the bicycle. Ride the bicycle. Yeah, and the park. Um, uh, and with my neighborhoods. Mm, I played soccer match in the oh. afternoon around 6 or 6.30 p.m. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Nice. Interesting. It's a routine. It's a routine uh, every Sunday. Every Sunday? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. Okay. So it's tradition. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Nice. Nice. Okay, what about the others? How was your weekend? You were busy, Claudia? Yes, because... What did you do on the weekend? On Saturday, I went to San Salvador and I went to Santa Ana to vote from thing and it was a little busy, a little tired, maybe. And a little tiring. Tiring, yes. And on Sunday, 
I returned to my house in Meta. Okay, okay. And I, and I went to the mass. And after that, I spent time with my family. Oh, okay, nice. All right, good. All right. So um, this week, this weekend was nice because it was very sunny, right? Uh, but the rain has started again. I think we're, or apparently we're going to be getting. Uh, well, there's another tropical storm, and it might evolve to a hurricane. So we're going to have to see what happens, right? Okay, guys. Well, um, by the way, um, I was taking a look at the questions that you guys had on the what's in the WhatsApp group. Um, I don't see, I can't seem to find any problems with the exercises that you were asking about, um, except like I said, um, maybe periods or, or or um or some periods or, or or spaces um so for number at least for number three and number four i didn't find any other problems um did anybody have pro i saw that there were some people that were having problems with that one anybody here that were having problems with exercise uh Three and four. Because what was weird, I checked the answer, and according to the answers that, that are, I have in the platform, it's correct. The answers are correct. So the only thing I see is that, at least for number three and number four, the only problem that could happen is with um, periods, maybe, and extra spaces. But everything else is okay. Now, with number five, as I had mentioned before, um, you have to put make it a, a uh, possessive. Okay, that's the only thing. Just make sure that Picasso has uh, it's possessive. That's it. Okay. But other than that, I think you shouldn't have any problems. Anybody have a question? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I have. Um, you you have to to send the picture with the answer because I have problem with this exercise and and I try to do um of many words and it's grown. Mm -hmm. Well the answer I already checked the answers and it's those were the correct answers. Um like I said unless you are putting extra spaces or periods where you're not supposed to put periods. But I already checked the answers, those are correct. Mm -hmm. um, Delia, did you, I, so you were the one who was asking, right, Delia? You were asking in the group, did you, did you, when I, when I told you to check the periods and spaces, did you do that? Did it work for you? Um, no, teacher. Um... Um, the los puntos son los que me daban problema. Aha, uh -huh, the periods, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Yeah. Aha, mm -hmm. uh -huh, that, that's what I was saying. That according to the answers that I have, your answers were correct. So it's just just make sure that you don't have a period. Uh, a period. That's it. También los espacios que a veces ve que hay dos espacios. Ese es el problema que me ha dado nada más. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, pretty much that's it. Yeah, just be, you gotta be careful there with the periods and spaces, but the answers you had were correct. Yeah, and number in five. In the apostrophe. And number five. In the apostrophe. Yeah. What was that, Delia? What was the problem with the apostrophe? Um, busqué en internet y lo copié. <laughs> Yes. Tell me in English. Uh, <laughs> um, he said the um, in the I copy. That, <laughs> I okay. Uh -huh. Sorry. Uh, 
Buscar. ¿Cómo se dice buscar? Search. 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 The search in internet, in the copy. Mm -hmm. Okay. What, what did in you search page? on the internet? In Google. No, but what, what did you search? What, what was the what was the investigation that you did? Uh, in the Google um, Lo escribí y puse a No, 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 um, in, in, no sé cómo se dice, vea, pero es, yo lo que hice oh, no, fue. Ajá. Uh -huh, ah, in, in English, in English. I don't know. Uh -huh. say it. In, in the open book. Uh -huh. um, uh, right. Uh, uh -huh. No sé cómo se dice apóstrofe. Um, how do you say? How do you say apóstrofe? In copy. In English. In the copy, in the page. How do you say a apostrophe in English? How do you um, say? How do you say teacher apostrophe in English? <laughs> it's very simple. You say apostrophe. Instead of saying apostrophe, you say apostrophe. This is no, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 Uh, yeah, if the apostrophe, uh, it, some, that, that's something that could be making a, a difference. Uh, sometimes if you don't put the correct apostrophe, then it will mark it as wrong. The apostrophe, you will find it. We will tell you, okay. I'm going to show you my keyboard. I don't know if you guys can see this. If you can see it, then the apostrophe is, let me see, let me see, this one right here. It's the one, it's the one after the, the zero, okay? Mm -hmm. It's the one with the, um, yeah, it's the one usually after the zero. In this case, the, in my, my keyboard, it's the one with the uh, question mark. So you just put shift, the shift key and the um, the question mark key, and then you will have the apostrophe, okay? So you've got to just be careful about that. But yeah, very good, Delia, excellent. See, <laughs> I don't I don't care, Delia, you don't, you don't have to be perfect and everything, but what I do want is for you to try, right? Practice, practice English, because the more you practice, the, the less, uh, afraid you will be and the less mistakes you will make but if you are afraid of making mistakes and you say no I don't want to talk because I'm afraid you'll never be able to actually speak English so that's why it's important um, to even if you make mistakes it's okay it's not we're all learning Delia so it's okay no worries all right okay all right good um, any other questions that you guys have Yes, I have a, a, a little, a little bit inner. Um, I had, I have had some troubles with an specific questions and answer because I found a mistake of the in the answer of of some question okay. and my my final or global score was uh low and i know my answer was correct, but the, the the final score was very very it was lower than than i i think is my correct score and i couldn't i couldn't read the message of whatsapp group and I don't know. 
<laughs> how can I do in this case? What numbers were they that were wrong? Excuse me? What numbers were wrong? I don't remember very well which or the number of the equation or lesson, but there are some questions with a wrong answer. <laughs> okay, but in order for me to help you and see if it's wrong or not, I need to know what the the exercise is so we can check it. I don't have, have enough time to, to do the exercise of the platform. So today I was, I was doing the exercise of the platform and I don't remember, Jessica, I don't remember. Okay, okay, not a problem. In that case, maybe what we can do is um, you can take a look at it tonight and see if you can find the exercises and then tomorrow you can tell me and see if we can help you, right? If, if we can check it out, if the answers are incorrect or what's, what's going on, right? Okay, so maybe you can do us that favor. Marcela, um, this, this uh, tonight, you can, you can take a look at the, at the exercises and you can write it down what exercises yeah. they are so that I can yeah, write I it down. And if you can send it to me um, during the day, even better so that I can, I, I can see if I have a chance there to, to take a look at it, okay? Yeah, to the future, I will take notes about the, the mistake that I found. <laughs> Sounds great. Thank you, Marcela, I appreciate it. And, and it's possible, it, it is possible that there are some mistakes in the, in, in the platform because, you know, sometimes it happens, right? Uh, sometimes they, by accident, for whatever reason, they might have the wrong answer. Okay, all right, guys. Um, let's see uh, what I wanted to check first of all. Okay, is um, okay. Well, the first thing we're going to do right now is we're going to be. Um, I'm going. We're going to be starting a new topic, and this is the last topic of uh, the section number three. Tell me when you can see the whiteboard. Can you see my whiteboard? Or not yet? Yes, teacher. Yes. 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 Okay, perfect. In that case, we're going to um, start talking a little bit about um, the last topic of the of the section number three, which I, I promised you guys that we were going to be looking at today, so that you guys. Um, can finish off section three. Um, let me just change the color here so that it's a little easier to identify that this is the, the topic. We're gonna to be talking about relative clauses. And specifically, we're gonna be talking about defining relative, oh, sorry. Defining relative clauses. Okay. All right. What are defining relative clauses? These are when you are describing um, a, you are giving information about a noun. Okay. You're defining what it is so that the person can identify what you're talking about. I'll give you some examples. Um, we have a, um, oops, let me change that. 
take away the boldness. Okay. All right, you can say, for example, um, a vet is a person who takes care of sick animals. Okay. Actually, uh, no, look, actually, I'm going to do something. Let me just, let me leave this because I want to do something else. Um, Okay, so I'm going to put those that were there between there. I'm going to say, that is a person, who are that? And then I'm going to complete the idea with saying, um, take, oh, let's change the color again. Let's make it black. Who or that? Okay, so a vet is a person uh, who or that takes care of sick animals. Now, in this sentence here, uh, we are describing who the person is. So what we're doing here is we are defining the person who is a vet, okay? So in other words, we're giving information about this person. Oh, let, me, let me change that over here. Um, we're given information about the person over here, okay? And after that thing, that person, we are going to describe what kind of a person it is, okay? Um, so, let's say for example, okay, so if it is a person who, or, oops, sorry. If it is a person who, or that, takes care of sick animals. Okay, this part here, it's describing or identifying or defining who the person is, right? So this part here is what we call the relative clause. This is specifically the type of defining relative clause. So all of this over here is telling me who or what kind of person it is. Okay, we're talking about the person that is um, the take the person who takes care of sick animals. Okay, does that make sense for everybody? Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Now, in this case. Uh, we, you will probably notice that we always start, we always begin the relative clause with the relative pronoun, who or that, okay? Now, um, I'll give you another example here. We can say, for example, we can say um, a bee, oops, sorry, let me change that color. 
for you. Okay, so we have here a B. No, sorry, a B is an insect. Is an insect. And I'm going to change here the um, the color. Okay, so a bee is an insect, which or that. Again, I'm going to change the color here. We're going to say lakes, honey. Okay, so we have a bee is an insect, which or that makes honey. Okay, now in this case over here, again, we are we are this, we are defining what the thing is. So what are we what are we describing here? What are we defining in this one? Who can tell me? A bee. A bee. Yes, yes, in, in a way. But specifically, what are we describing? Anybody? Okay. Well, let me let me start first. May, maybe that the uh, bean makes honey. Okay, but what are we defining? What's the thing that we are defining? Things. Exactly. We're defining the insect. There you go. So we are def we're defining what the insect is. So that if you notice here we have um let me change here. Um sorry. Okay, so here we go. So this is the relative clause, right? And we always start with the relative clause with the relative pronoun. And the relative pronoun in this case is which or that. Okay? Does that make sense? Yes? No? Yes, teacher. So teacher. I, yes, uh-huh. When we are talk about a person, mm -hmm. you we use who or that. Yeah, well, we're and, gonna talk about that in a moment. Okay, I'll talk about. I'll I'll give you that that answer in just a second. Okay, I'm just gonna finish writing the examples, and then we're gonna talk about which relative pronouns we're gonna be using. Okay. Okay. All right. So now in this case over here, all of this is defining or describing, let's say, the insect, okay? All of this is describing the insect. So if you notice, the relative clause comes directly after the thing we are describing. We are not describing the bed, we're not describing the bee, we're describing the person and the insect, okay? 
I'll give you one more example so you can take a look at it and understand what I'm talking about. Um, Okay, so oops, sorry. Let me change that. Okay, there you go. So an ATM is a machine, which of that gives you money from your bank account. So what, now I already explained this um, to you in two different occasions. So I'm gonna now ask you, you're gonna give me the answers. What am I describing here? A machine. Very good, exactly. We're describing the machine, right? And which is the relative clause? In the sentence, what is the relative clause? That. Which or that? Mm -hmm. That. Mm -hmm. What more? Which? Relative clause. What is the relative clause? Which or not? Uh -huh. Yes, continue. Yeah. Which or that? Yes, continue. Uh -huh. Yo aquí estoy what else? That's the relative pronoun, but I want the relative clause. Hmm. This is the relative pronoun, but what is the relative clause? Like here, for example, the relative clause is who that takes care of sick animals. Here it's which of that makes honey. So what is the relative clause here? Gives, gives you money from your bank account. Not just gives you money from your bank account, but? What is the relative clause? Give me the complete relative clause. But there is a machine. ATM. No, okay. This is the relative clause. Starting from here. Okay. It begins here. And it finishes here. So all of this is the relative clause. Which is that gives you money from your bank account? All of this is describing, is describing, all of this is describing the machine. Does that make sense? Yeah, teacher. Yes? Yeah. Okay, now, what word do we use to begin the relative clause? What words do we use? Um, in the first sentence, I think it's who. In, in, the, in the last sentence. 
what uh, word do we use to begin the relative clause? If all of this is the relative clause, what word do we use to, do, to begin the relative clause? That. Uh -huh. Or? Which. That. Or which, exactly. We use this to talk about the relative clause. Is that clear? Is that clear for everybody? Yeah. Yeah? So, all right. So now looking at this, you will notice that the relative clause, which includes all everything that is in brackets in green, everything that's in brackets in green is the relative clause. And the relative clause comes directly after the thing that you are describing. In this case, you're describing a person here, an insect, here, a machine. Now, we always start the relative clause with a relative pronoun, okay? Now, just, just to make sure you understand what I mean by relative pronoun, I'm gonna write it down here, relative pronoun. What are the relative pronouns? A and N. No, the relative pronouns, pronouns are these ones. So what are the relative pronouns? What are the relative pronouns? Who, that. Good. Who? That. I'm oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Which? Who, that, what else? Which and which, very good, okay. So when I, when I say that we always start the relative clause with a relative pronoun, I'm referring to one of these words. One of these words is a relative pronoun, okay? Now, when do I, how do I know which one to use? Well, there, there, here comes the answer to the question I was asked before. Well, basically, who we use it, if you can see here, for people. Whenever we're describing people, we can, we can use the word who. Whenever we're describing um, an animal or an insect, we can use which. Also, when we are using the word, sorry, when we are describing a thing, we can also use which. Okay, it's also possible to use which. Now, the word that is universal, independent if it's a if it's a person, an animal, or a thing, we can use the word that. That is, so this one is universal. It doesn't really matter which one you want to use. You can use both if you'd like. Does that make sense? Does that make sense, everybody? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Okay, perfect. Now, um, so this is basically, like I said, um, it, we use this information when we want to describe a person, a thing, or an animal. Now, many times we use this structure also to combine two sentences together um, to make it one, one sentence so we don't have to be uh, saying or talking more than we should. Or, uh, you know, in English, we love to uh, make things shorter. Um, so instead of having two sentences, we like to make it one. I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. Um, here we have, I'm gonna give you two sentences. The first sentence is gonna be, um, Just give me a second.
Okay, for example, um, if I'm going to, let's say that I decide um, I have here two sentiments. Give you an example here. Um, I'm gonna have here the sentence here. My brother just had a baby, but I'm going to actually make it a little bit smaller so that I have enough room because otherwise with this, like this, I'm probably not gonna have, I'm gonna run out of room. So I'm just gonna change it, make it a little bit smaller. I think you, you will be still able to see it, right? Can you guys see that? Yes? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Yeah, okay, all right. Okay, so we yes, have I here, my brother just had a baby and I'm gonna, I'm going to say my brother, um, let me see. Um, I have here two sentences. My brother just had a baby uh, and my brother lives in Florida. We have two sentences here, but it sounds too repetitive to say, my brother just had a baby, my brother lives in Florida. So instead, what we do normally is that we like to, um, we like to combine these two sentences to make it into one. And we, what we do is, we put them together by making a defining relative clause. So we end up with something like this. First of all, what are we describing? Are we describing my brother, the baby, or Florida? My brother who had a baby. Right, but what are we defining? What are we describing here? Are we describing my brother, the baby, or Florida? My brother. My exactly. brother. Yeah, exactly. That's that's right. We hear we're talking about my brother. So because we're talking about my brother, um, that's uh, that's the um, the person that the relative clause is going to follow. So we're gonna say we're gonna start with this. My brother. It's up there. My brother. And after that, we're going to put, cool. exactly, very good. Who or that, we can decide, right? My brother, who or that, what, what else? Who lives in Florida, that just have a baby. Very good, excellent. My brother, who or that lives in Florida, just actually just had a baby. Okay, so there you go. We have what we have now one sentence. So we don't have to be repeating the word my brother again, right? So what part is the relative clause? Who that lives in Florida just want a baby. Mm -hmm. Close, close. What is the relative clause? It's a little bit shorter than that. 
Which one is the relative clause? Who lives in Florida? Exactly, very good. Just the part of who lives in Florida. Only that part is here, the relative clause. Only this part, who lives in Florida. This part here is considered to be the relative clause. And of course, you guys, as I already told you before, we always start the relative clause with the relative pronoun. In this case, we're gonna be using who or that. We decide, you can say my brother who lives in Florida, just had a baby, or my brother that lives in Florida, just had a baby, okay? So you can choose. And basically here, we are, what we're doing is we are giving information about, we are describing, my brother. So in other words, we are defining, we're telling us who, which brother I'm talking about. Maybe I have more than one brother. Um, it sounds like I actually have probably, I don't know, two brothers at least, right? So which brother am I talking about? I'm talking about the brother who lives in Florida. Maybe I have a brother who lives in, I don't know, in Cancun. But here I'm talking about the one that lives in Florida, okay? That brother is the one that just had a baby. So if you notice the relative pronoun, sorry, the relative clause always comes directly after the thing that we're describing. And we originally identified that the thing that we're describing in this sentence is my brother, right? We're defining, we're giving information about my brother. We're not giving information about Florida. We're not giving information about baby. We're giving information about my brother. So the relative clause goes directly after the thing that you were describing. Does that make sense for everybody? Hmm. Yes, teacher. Would you like to ask some questions? Don't be afraid to ask any questions you guys have. No? No, no teacher. Okay, all right. Okay, so I'm going, can I, can I stop sharing now then? Or if you want, you can take a picture. Okay. Yeah, got it. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing here. And what I'm going to actually start sharing in this moment is some exercises that I want you to try and figure out if you can understand them. So let me know again when you can see my PowerPoint presentation. Let me know when you can see it. Oops. Can you see it? No? Yes, maybe? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so here we have pre-intermediate number one, that's our class. We had defining relative clauses. Today is Monday, November 9th, 2020. A facilitator, Joseph Carrero, and the day is number nine. So let's take a look at the first exercise. We have five exercises here. The first one is, we broke the computer. The second sentence is a computer belonged to my father. Okay, those, those are the two sentences here. First, we broke the computer. The other one, the computer belonged to my father. Two, I dropped the glass and the glass was new. This is the second sentence. 
first sentence, she loves books. Then the books have happy endings. Four, they live in a city. Second sentence, the city is in the north of England. Number five, the man is in the garden. The man is wearing a blue jumper. Okay, so right now I want you to go ahead and make these two, make these sentences into one, okay? So five exos, five sentences in total are the ones that you're gonna be doing right now. Teacher. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I lost what uh, we have to do. Oh, you're you're making sentences with the relative uh, relative clause, putting these two sentences together into one. Okay, so you're gonna create these two sentences that we have here. You're gonna you're gonna make them into one one sentence with using the relative clause. Does that make sense? Okay. Of the two sentences, we have to do one. Yeah. The... Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. okay. Do you guys have any questions? No, teacher. No, not at all. Okay, are you guys? Uh, how, what what number are you on? One, two, three, four, five. Class, what number are you on? I already finished. Oh, good, excellent. Uh, the first sentence. The third sentence, okay. I finished the picture. Good, okay. All right, anybody that needs more time? Yes, Jessica, I need a little bit more time. Okay, thank, no you. Problem. thank you. Yeah, it's okay. 
I finished the t-shirt. Great, excellent. Remember, that is like universal. So I I I would I mean it's good to practice the who and which, but if you're not sure which one to use, just go for that because that's the safe one. Okay, need more time? Anybody? No teacher, in my case I finished. All right, okay, in that case, I'm gonna give you another, uh, another set so you can work on right now. This is the second set. Okay, so these are the other five sentences. You ready? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. You you finished all of five? Not teacher. Okay. No teacher. Give me, Give me a minute, please. Okay, not a problem. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Oh, yeah, no problem.
if we need to, teacher. Okay, great. Anybody need more time? Yes, teacher, please. Okay. I finished it. Okay. Can we check everybody or are you still working on it? Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose here um, people to Give me the answers here for the exercises. I'm going to start with Jonathan. You can help me with number one. Okay. Um, I broke the computer, which that belongs to my father. Good. We broke the computer, which or that belonged to my father. Good. Uh, Claudia, number two. I dropped a glass that was new. Excellent, very good. Very good, Claudia. Okay, Carla, number three. Uh, she loves the books that have happy ending. Excellent, she loves the books that have happy endings. Very good. Or it could be also which have happy endings. Very good. Okay, yes. Marcella, number four. Four. Yeah. They live in, in a city where or that the city is in the north of England. Um, okay, first of all, we're not going to say where you would have only which, who, which, who, or that. Yeah, okay, okay. okay. They and live the in other the thing is city. that eliminate the word that is repetitive, the word that we were repeating, eliminate it. Okay, only at number four, they live in a city that the city is in the north of England. Okay, they live in a city that, eliminate the repetitive words. So they live in a city Marcella? Yes, but I, I don't understand. Okay, you have, you have, you said they live in a city that or which the city is in the north of England, but you are repeating the word the, the city, so don't put repetitive words. I, I need to eliminate or remove the city. Exactly. Okay, they, they live in a city that is in the north of England. Very good, there you go. Okay, so the word that or which replaces the word city, okay? It's the repeat. So in, instead of putting um, the city, we put the word which or that. Okay, does that make sense, Marcella? Okay, I got it, Jessica, Q. Okay, good, you're welcome. All right, uh, Delia, can you help us with number five? 
Oh, the main is the garden, uh, which the main is wearing a blue and jumper. Okay, remember we have, what are we describing here? Are we describing the man or the garden? Um, are we describing the man or the garden? Um, the man. <laughs> Yeah, because the man is wearing the blue jumper. The garden cannot wear the blue jumper. Yeah? Okay. So in that case, you have to put the relative clause after the man. So we cannot say the man is in the garden, which is wearing a blue jumper. We have to say the man. The man. Continue. Um, it's a worry. Okay, good. Make oh, sure no. you're He's confused. <laughs> no, you're correct, you're correct. The man. The man. Uh huh. The man. Um, this part here is the part, right? So the man. The man is a what? Is the man who or that. Um, the man is the man who or that. Remember, we have to use the relative pronoun. Siempre uh -huh. tiene que empezar con el relative pronoun. So, the man who or that. The man. Um, is it which or or? Huh. Uh -huh, the man uh -huh. with. It's who because it's the man, the person. Okay, it could be, yeah, it could be who or it could be which, but uh-huh, uh-huh. The man. I'm going to help you out here by putting this so it's clear. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put it here. The man, and we're going to eliminate this part here. Okay, because we're it's repetitive. Okay, so we're just going to eliminate that part. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And then instead of putting the man, we're going to say the man. The man, the man who is wearing a blue jumper. Okay, good. Uh huh. The man who is wearing the blue jumper. The blue jumper. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Continue. The blue jumper is the mm, is the garden. Is in the garden. Exactly. The man mm -hmm. who is wearing a blue jumper is in the garden. So the mm -hmm. the second sentence isn't going to be in the middle because we're describing the man. We're not describing mm -hmm. the man with the garden. The mom. Mm -hmm. We're describing the man. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Okay, wonderful. All right. Okay, guys, excellent. We'll continue here just quickly with Rebecca, number six. The girl who is from India works in a bank. Perfect, Dave, Rebecca, excellent. The girl who is from India works in a bank because we're describing the girl, not the bank. Very, very, very good, Rebecca, excellent. Okay, we're gonna start again here with, um, let's see, who hasn't given me an answer? Uh, let's see, um, Irania. Irania number seven. I'm sorry, teacher, no finish. You didn't finish? Oh, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Hello. Okay, Ricardo, did you do number seven? Oh, 
Ricardo, did you do number seven? No, I'm not there. Okay. All right, Jonathan, help us up with number seven. Um, number seven. Uh, my sister has three children. Who that lives in Australia? Okay. Are we describing my sister or are we describing the, the, the children? Um, Jonathan, are we describing the, my sister or my the three children? Uh, my sister, I think uh, exactly. my sister, who that lives in Australia, has three children. Uh huh. Perfect. There you go. We are describing my sister, so this this part here has to go over here in between where my sister is. Okay. okay? So it would be my sister who lives in Australia has three children. Okay. All right. Good. All right. Uh, Rebecca, can you help me with number eight? Yes. Uh, the waiter. I don't know how do you pronounce that. That's what. Waiter, yeah. The waiter who was waiting a blue shirt was Ruth. Perfect. The waiter who was wearing a blue shirt was Ruth because we're describing the waiter, not being rude, right? Very good, excellent. Number nine, um, Claudia? Okay, teacher. Um, the money is in the kitchen that belongs to John. Are we describing the money or the kitchen? The money. The money. So this part here has to go after the money, not after the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Sorry, teacher, you asked me. So this part here, the money, has to go after this part here of the money. We're going to be putting it after the money, not after the kitchen. Does that make sense? I don't understand. Okay. We are describing the money, not the kitchen, yes, right? Yes, the money. So we're going to put it after the money, not after the word kitchen. Uh, so we're going to put it here. You see that? The money belongs to John. Okay, good. But we're not going to use the word money because the money is here repetitive, right? We can't say the money, the money, right? No. So we're gonna eliminate that. And then instead, what we're gonna do is write here, the money. The money. Or that. The money which or that belongs to John. Is in the kitchen. Does that make sense? Does that make sense, Claudia? Yes, teacher. So do, do, just remember that whatever you're describing, you have to put after the thing you're describing, right? So we can't put this okay. part after the kitchen because we're not describing the kitchen, we're describing the money. Okay? okay. All right, and the last one. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, Delia, help us out with number 10. I don't finish, but, um, the table, mm -hmm. the table, which, um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which got broken? No. The table. The table. Are we describing the table or broken? The 
table. We're describing the table. Good. So we're going to put it directly after the table. So okay. we're going to say the table. Um, we took got broken. No. You have to, this part here, this is the second the sentence. Table. So we're going to put this after the thing we're describing. We're either going to put it here or you're going to put it here at the end. Where do you want to put it? Tiene que ponerlo exactamente después de la cosa que está describiendo. Aquí está describiendo qué? What's my plan? Um, you describing? The table got broken. No, no, okay, no, which, no, no, don't, don't, don't give me the no, answer. I, I don't, I don't understand. Okay, bye. ¿Qué, qué, ¿Qué es lo que estamos describiendo aquí? The table or broken? ¿Cuál de los dos? The table. The table. Entonces, vamos a ponerlo exactamente después de la palabra table. Entonces, that's what we're describing. So we have to put it over here. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, does that make sense, Celia? If we are describing the table, the we have table. to put it after the table, not after broken. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so then what we're going to do is just simply add the which the or that. Which mm -hmm. was my and then eliminate know. the word that is repeated. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense, Delia? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. So there you go. So the table, which or that was my grandmother's, got broken. There you go. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right, guys, um, I know that we went a little bit over the class um, time, but I think it was necessary just to make sure you understood this. Remember, the extra, or no, sorry, not the extra information, the, the dis description has to be after the thing you're describing. In this case, for example, we're describing the girl. So you're gonna have to put it here. You're not gonna put it after bank because we're not describing the bank, we're describing the girl. Here, you're describing my sister, so you're gonna put it after my sister. You're not gonna put it after children because we're not describing the children and so on, okay? Okay, guys, um, so that will be all for today. Um, you have, now we've seen enough information for you guys to be able to complete the exercises from section number three, okay? And I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? Okay, teacher. All right, guys. Okay, um, remember, if you have any questions, don't just um, like write to me, ask me in the group, but also send the number of the exercise so I can check it in the in the platform, and I will be able to help you better. Okay, so you say, teacher, I don't understand this. Go ahead and tell me what the exercise is, which section, and which number, so I can help you better. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right, okay, guys. Teacher. Take care. Thank you. Have a wonderful Thank night. You. Bye. Tomorrow. Take care. Bye, bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.